Hello and a very warm welcome once again a very critical time to set goals to improve career I mean how do you do it setting goals itself is a big challenge and that too when you want to apply it on your career path it is increasingly difficult so you need to understand the nitty gritty of not only setting goals one and doing it a smart way but also how can we apply understanding career as a bigger goal than just a job job might be the first thing that gets easier for you to chart out a smart goal but for a career it is a much longer vision that you need to foresee and fix it beforehand let's try and address to what is setting goals to improve your career setting specific measurable goals can provide a path to improve your career and achieve certain accomplishments you can use goal setting when given a certain task or project or to personally advance in some way you can set goals towards promotions creativity education and many other various ways to improve your life and career let's look at why setting goals can help improve your career what types of goals you can set and how to set goals in case if you have to set it and we have to why setting goals is important setting goals is important because it gives you a framework to achieve milestones wanting to do or complete certain things in life as a great start goal setting provides a path for you to actually do them plan your work and work your plan there are two types of goals you should consider setting one is definitely you all know i know you know the world knows short term goal and long term goal so what are the short term goals short term goals are more immediate goals you set for yourself to achieve your larger that is long term goals so your short term goals should be in line with long term goals you can think of short term goals as milestones or stepping stones short term goals usually exist in a short time frame anywhere from days or months to one or two years examples of short term goals might include completing small tasks or projects or internships or assignments or voluntary work that you have jotted down you are clear with and you want to do it immediately gaining experience or maybe taking classes you will use what you accomplished in the short term to complete your long term goals mind this very very carefully so what are long term goals long term goals are usually large goals you want to achieve over several years you will use several milestones to achieve long term goals setting short term goals to achieve along the way long term goals might include getting a job in a certain career being promoted to a certain level or completing a lengthy complicated project setting personal goals let's look at this setting goals for your personal life will help you reach personal achievements you might set personal goals to advance several categories in your life for things like hobbies health or education setting personal goals can help you achieve success in your career as well advancing your interest by building experience and hobbies you enjoy or skills you want to improve can easily transfer into your professional life so a personal life is no different from a professional life and vice versa these are often good things to include on your resume if relevant to the jobs you are applying for Spending time improving on things you want in your personal life can also help you be more focused and energetic at work by paying attention to your work life balance. Here are a few personal goals examples. Advancing hobbies like playing a musical instrument or playing a sport. Improving on skills like graphic design, public speaking, spoken English, increasing your knowledge about a certain topic area of study maybe your domain knowledge or related to the application of your domain knowledge focusing on building or improving relationships personality traits understanding emotions very important in both personal as well as professional life if 
Financial goals like saving for a certain purchase. Also, very good to understand what is commerce and what are commercials because this is one factor which every job, in case if you are planning to upscale and get promoted, take promotions, you need to understand both commerce and commercials. Physical goals like training or for a marathon or completing a certain fitness challenge. What a best investment if you are investing in your both your knowledge as well as your health. Setting professional goals. How do we do it? Setting professional goals can help you both complete certain tasks or projects and achieve any personal career goals you might have. If your company or manager doesn't have a specific framework for you to set goals in your job, you might consider setting your own career goals. You can also set your own goals if you are self-employed. Your career goal should address both your current situation and your larger long-term career ambitions. So here are a few professional goals example. Being promoted to a certain position, completing a larger project within the time frame, going for an internship the right time, solving a complex problem, decision making, problem solving, improving certain soft or technical skills, all in all the employability skills and transferable skills along with the great technical skills that you are evolving with in your academia. Successfully switching careers or industries. So even if you need to switch industries and get focused on your career, you need to still learn a lot of skills there. Getting a certain award or recognition. Whatever that you come up with, you are evolved with, make sure that rewards and recognitions are great to achieve and to keep it for further processes. How to set goals? While there are several different ways to set goals, there are a few steps you can take to ensure the best possibility of success. Your goals should have five key elements to make them achievable. These five key elements make up what is known as SMART goal framework. SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time based. So let's take a closer look as to what it, it means. First, make your goal as clear and detailed as possible. For example, instead of I want to be better at public speaking, you can say I want to successfully give a 10 to 15 minute presentation to an audience of 50 or more people. Second, define how you will measure success. For example, if you want to switch from a job in sales to a job in marketing, you might set milestones along the way that address how to develop the skills and experience marketing employers are looking for. To do this, you might set your measurement as learning and focusing on one skill per month. Third, check whether your goals are achievable. Setting goals you can accomplish within a reasonable time frame will help keep you motivated and focused. So you should be working to understand the full scope of your goal ahead of time to ensure it is possible to accomplish. For example, if you are in your first professional developer job and your goal is to become a senior level net developer, you might need to set smaller short term goals before reaching this larger goal. If you find that a goal is not achievable because you don't have enough experience, one of your new goals should be to gain more experience. Fourth, make sure your goal is relevant. You should set goals that align with your values and contribute towards your long term goals. Each goal you set should be relevant and meaningful to you, moving you closer towards where you want to be. To make sure you are setting relevant goals, you might ask yourself, how will achieving this goal help me? Does accomplishing this goal contribute towards my larger long term goals? Why does this goal matter to me? Fifth, set a beginning and end date. Setting a timetable to achieve your goal can both help keep you motivated and on schedule. Before setting a goal end date, be sure to research all the milestone and possible roadblocks you might run into along the way. For example, if your goal is to get promoted to the next level at your company, you might give yourself 6 months. If you haven't achieved your goal, you might give yourself extended time or reconsider whether your goal is achievable and realistic.
So setting both personal and professional goals will help give a structure and path to success. Many employers value candidates that have a record of setting and achieving goals. This shows that you can be focused, goal-oriented employee. Employers often ask about goals in interviews, so you should prepare to talk about your goals and what you are doing to achieve them during the hiring process. I hope you have got in totality what is to measure and how to actually set your personal and professional goals. Do it wisely. Best wishes. Thank you.